Hey guys, this lesson's on waves and how to manipulate a couple formulas in order to figure out things like uh, period and frequency and wavelength and stuff kind of like that. So let's start off with a problem that reads uh, a wave traveling on a slinky has a period of 0.25 seconds and a wavelength of 0.3 meters. And we want to find the frequency and the speed of the wave. Well first to find the frequency, frequency equals 1 over period. So that's pretty simple. That's just going to be 1 over the period, which is 1.25, which equals seconds, which equals 4 hertz. And the hertz is just the basic unit for one over a second. So don't be confused by this, it's pretty simple. Okay, and next we have to find our velocity of speed, which is pretty simple. We just have to use this equation here. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength. And we have our frequency now, and we have our wavelength from before, so we just have to multiply them out. So 4 hertz times 0.3 meters will equal 1.2 meters per second. And that's our velocity right there. Okay, let's go to a more complicated problem. So let's say we have a string that is tied down at one end and held the other with a tension of 72 newtons, a length of 2 meters, a uh, weight of four, I mean mass, of four kilograms, and a frequency that it's being rotated with of two hertz. Okay, and in this we will look for wavelength. So our first step to finding the wavelength is finding um, the velocity of it. In order to find the velocity, you, we have this equation here. Velocity of a wave equals the square root of the tension over the mass per unit length. And what this mu equals, which is mass per unit length, is mass over length. So in this case, 4 kilograms over 2 meters, which will end up equaling 2 kilograms per meter. So now that we have this mu, we just have to put the force over it. So our force again is 72 newtons over our mu, which is 2 kilograms per meter. And when you put this all out, it'll be 36 meters squared over second squared. And that's if you do all this cross multiplying with these uh, units here. And that's what you come up with. But we still have to find the square root of it. So we find the square root, and that'll give us 6 meters per second. And that will give us our velocity of it. And that's close. So now that we have our velocity, we have to use that equation from before. The velocity of the wave equals the frequency times the wavelength. So we have our frequency, and we have our velocity. So we take our we uh, plug in our units, meters per second equals our frequency, 2 hertz times wavelength. Okay, so now it's just a uh, simple, simple algebra. So 6 meters per second over 2 um, equals our wavelength, 2 hertz, sorry. And that'll end up equaling 3 meters. And that's how you figure that out. Alright, so let's do two more ones that are I've been asked for a couple times. So let's say we have something that's open and open on one end and closed on the other. So such as like an organ or something. Okay. And we want to know what the largest and the second largest wavelength we can get here. 
So largest and second largest. Now the important thing to remember when we talk about things and the largest wavelengths and stuff like this is that when something's open, there will always be an anode, and when something's closed, there will always be a node. And what anodes and nodes are is, say we have this here. This is a complete wavelength. Now, your nodes are these, are right when, when it hits the center. But your anodes are when it's open like this, like right here and right here. Sorry, this is also a node, actually. So these are your anodes. So on some, when something's open, it will always end with an open thing. Well, when something's closed, it will always end with a node like this. So the largest wavelength they can be is this right here. Again, ending with an anode, starting with a node. And this, if we know the length of it, the largest it'll have to be um, is four of the length. And the reason that is, is because a wavelength, again, is one of these. And it takes one, two, three, and four to get to where it started. So like here, let's just draw it out real quick. So let's take this segment right here. It could be this one either, it doesn't really matter. But in this case, let's take this one. So we have this curve right here. So that's one length. Okay, let's take another one. Two lengths. And then let's switch it in. Three lengths and four lengths. So that's why it's four lengths. I know it kind of looks kind of sloppy, but essentially how many of them it takes to get to this. So the largest will be four times the length of this. And the second largest it's a little trickier because you have to make a node in it. So it's going to look like this. Okay. And, oh, whoops. This is, sorry, this is the end right here. And this is what the second largest is going to look like. Now, we're going to have to split this up into uh, these halves here. So this is one half. This is another half. This is kind of another half. So this is like, this is one fourth of the wavelength. This is one fourth of a wavelength. And this is one fourth of a wavelength. So if we add all these up, and this is the length, then the second largest is going to be four thirds the length. So you multiply the length by that. Okay, now let's look at something that is tied down at two ends, such as a guitar string. So, if you have a guitar string, and this is your length, when you pluck a guitar string, it vibrates up and down, like, like this. And I think it's actually easier if I do the second, lo the second longest one first, because if you hit a harmonic, it'll vibrate like this. And you can see right there, that is a wavelength. So the second largest is going to be just the length of it, while the largest, which is just that, is going to be twice that, because it takes this, this whole half, and then it takes another one on the other side in order to make a wavelength. So that's why the largest is 2L, and the second largest is L. And that's all I have on this lesson. Um, if you need more problems, I'll uh, have some up later. Uh, just check it out later, and uh, I'll see you next lesson.